Jako všechno v přírodě, ale nic není úplně na 100%. A tak několika kleštíkům se vždy podaří najít nějakou okrajovou buňku. Like everything in nature, however, nothing is completely 100% and so a few mites always manage to find a marginal cell and multiply there. But bees have another cure for this and when they feel that parasites or viruses are too many and could threaten their survival, they use another defense mechanism and that is swarming. By flying to a new habitat, a mite-infested colony actually restarts the whole organism. It interrupts brood rearing for a few days, thus reducing the number of parasites and starting again a new general construction and thus the already familiar cleansing construction and thermal defense mechanism. Even in the second part of the colony that has remained in its original location, there is a fertile break before the new queen is fertilized. VAOA or viruses are again greatly reduced. We simulate this necessary swarming by either removing the brood and some of the bees to a brood compartment, creating a false brood nest or a complete recovery by relocating to an empty hive for building frames. Simple interventions to dilute the potential parasite, or reduce its numbers or, in the case of overwintering, almost completely remove it. And the good health of the colonies is enhanced by the actual rearing of queens from colonies that are adapted to local conditions. I can also remove surplus honey when making a brood. But we count on the fact that already in May the natural bee colonies were ready for winter, they had enough supplies for the whole year ahead. That is why we are already leaving the bees enough supplies to last them through the winter. Before the summer solstice in a natural bee colony comes the June brood break. Here the bee colony itself reduces viruses, bacteria, and parasites with its defense mechanism. Here we do not have to do anything at all, we just must not cancel the brood break with inappropriate interventions such as honey collection at this time. Well, the summer solstice is coming and the last snowdrop in nature is the lime tree. By this time, the bee colonies in nature and the biotech bee colonies are full of flower honey and ready for winter. Now is the last chance for bee colonies that do not have enough honey reserves for the whole winter to safely replenish their reserves with syrup. Now the bees are no longer building. The colonies are cooling down and the colonies are raising winter bees. The colonies need to be winterized, opened airtight so that the hive does not overheat in the summer heat. We must remember that the colonies have never been exposed to direct sunlight as they often are now. The bee is actually a woodland creature and the high temperatures and therefore the construction of the hive during syrup feeding interfere with the education of long-lived bees. Even now we can still remove surplus honey but we do not interfere with the brood and the already stored winter stores of the colony. So winterization is not warming and closing but rather lots of air and cooling of the brood. Then comes September. By then, most of the winter bees have already run out and there is a long fruiting break, which only came about thanks to the timely wintering. Whoever is still feeding in the summer shortens the autumn brood break and breeds mites and viruses. And they also breed summer bees. Those are the bees that are still swarming and robbing long into the autumn. We don't see that in the overwintered colonies, they are just full of long-lived bees in the autumn. If you don't believe it, you can try it for yourself. It costs nothing. And finally, in early October, when the brood has been raised and is in the same dormant stage as the colony, we replace the queen with a brood. Again, a simple operation without dismantling the colonies. This ends our beekeeping year, the colonies are parasite-free or really just a few pieces. They are not dangerous to the colony. Only a few really survive until spring. In addition to these few principles, bee damage must be watched for during the spring.
Kromě těžko několika zásad je třeba v průběhu jara pohlídat poškození čel a hned případnou nemoc řešit. We must deal with any illness immediately. A colony managed in this way can also become ill with virosis. B colonies have had viruses since before the arrival of VAOA. These are common B diseases. But they must be caught and dealt with early. Similarly, some colonies that are managed in this way cannot keep VAOA at bay. But it's really rare. Again, this can be dealt with by overwintering, a June recovery split and preferably by replacing the tricky queen with another from a more resistant colony. Regenerative biotech beekeeping is not about some artificial interventions like queen culling or cutting out the drone, but just about creating the conditions for the organism to live a healthy life. To create the general well-being of the bee colony through our interventions. Our efforts must be as little interference as possible. To allow the colony to use its innate qualities to regulate VAOA naturally. Just as bees can do when they are free in a natural cavity.